How to set up Google Business Profile? Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Google Business Profile. It's quite simple, so please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. First of all, you're gonna know, you're gonna need to know why do you need to set up your Google Business Profile. So remember, when it comes to your business, it's essential to let everyone know that you exist. Even if you run the best real estate agency or restaurant in your area, you need to appear on people's radar to be successful. So you can use Google My Business Profile for that. It is a free tool that helps you create a company profile that appears in Google searches. Your customers can Google to find relevant information on your company or local business within seconds. So let's continue with this. This is really easy. I'm going to make an example with a restaurant here. So I'm going to write obviously the name of this restaurant. So I'm going to obtain different like results here. But also here we have an option to locate these in Google Maps. So if I open it, I'm gonna obtain this. So the name, this is a Mandarin restaurant. So what is the address, if it is open or not, the website, the phone number. We could also select the directions to know how to get into this restaurant or to save these or to send to phone or to share it, I don't know. You can also check the reviews. It has a lot of reviews. Some talk about the price, the experience, some other the environment letter, and some users can upload some pictures of your business too, if they consider it necessary. Obviously, you're gonna be able to upload your own pictures. By now they have uh, 407 photos, that's a lot. And also the about, so there you can check the service options, the offerings, signing options, and so on. In this case, these are the options because this is a restaurant, but remember, this could be useful for other kind of business like real estate agency or to offer some of your services or different products about, I don't know, architecture or carpenter, I don't know. This is infinite. So what are you gonna need to do? Is go to your web browser and write Google Business. So here I'm going to click on sign in. And here you can find and manage your business. Perhaps, I don't know, somebody has noted your business, so you're gonna write it here. Let me try. No. I nobody has this so I'm going to create a business with this name okay so this is the name of my business and but now this is the business category so I'm going to write services or perhaps music music school I'm gonna put it by now and you are gonna click on next here is the next step. So do you want to add a location customers can visit like a store or office? So perhaps if you're trying to create a virtual school, so probably you're going to click on now. So because you don't have like a specific location, but if it's a restaurant or perhaps you sell another products in your store. So obviously you're going to click on yes. By now I'm gonna click on yes, because probably this is gonna ask us to write the address and so on. So by now I'm gonna tap this and that's it. Once you have filled that, you can add an address line. This is optional, so perhaps this is the second floor, or I don't know. This is a small door. <laughs> I don't know. There are some other options that you can fill in. Oh, the postal code. Let me check. Yes. 
The next question is if you want to provide deliveries or home and, vi and office visits. So for example, if you visit or deliver to your customers, you can let them know where you are willing to go. So in the same case of a restaurant, if you're going to be, I don't know, available to deliver some food like five miles away or eight miles away or just one mile away, I don't know, these are your preferences. So I'm going to click on yes to show you the process. So I'm going to search and select areas. So by now I'm living in Bogota. So I'm going to click this and I don't know, perhaps some other close how to say it like villages so like chia in this case of perhaps these ones i'm gonna you can fill this bar however do you want i'm going to continue and one contact details do you want to show your customers to your customers so help customers get in touch by including this info your listing what you need to do is select your country write your phone number write your website this is optional and click on next by now i'm going to skip this step and get updates about your business would you like alerts notifications or tips about ways to manage your business in google so by now yes this is really useful so i really recommend you to select the yes option because I really recommend you to get updates about your business, someone if perhaps has visited your profile in the Google business or uploaded some photos. So I really recommend you that because you want to know that. So I'm gonna click on next. Let's wait for it. They are going to verify this. So you are now verified. Now you can reply to reviews, turn on chat and more. Let's click on next again. And I think this is it. Perhaps this is a book. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. This continue. This is at business hours. So let customers know when you're open for business. So suppose uh, with my music school, I'm just going to open Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And you can select also if you open, I don't know, I'm going to be open my school from 10 a.m. And this is going to be closed at 5 p.m. You can also add some more hours. So perhaps this is going to be open from 10 a.m. until not 5, 1 p.m. And you're going to have a lunch. You're going to close your restaurant or music school in my case. In my case, so I'm going to open again at 2 p.m. I'm going to close at 5 p.m. as I was trying to do. Okay. And also you can add more and more hours if you need it. And this is personal for each day. So you can select a different schedule. For instance, in Wednesday, I would like to open at 11 and close at four and for friday it could be the same you can select your schedule okay your business hours and add messaging let customers message your business on google for free obviously you must accept these messages in your business you want to have touch with your clients and know everything about them so really accept it and here you can add a business description, let customers learn more about you and so on. So this is optional too, but I really recommend you to add your business description. You want to sell, you want to have clients. And also here in the photos of your business, I really recommend you to add photos too. These are some examples. So perhaps this, the front of your store. So people is going to be able to recognize that when they are nearby. And here, the service that you're offering, this is also useful. By now, I'm going to skip, but you need to do that. By now, this is going to sell you also a free advertising. So claim your 350 free advertising credit. 
and you can claim your credit or not. I'm going to skip it by now. And that's it. They are going to offer you some other like host to your website if you need it, .com, .net. You can explore more domains, but now I'm going to skip this. Your edits will be visible once you're verified. Okay, so I will have to wait to be verified. Here you can edit your business. By now your business is not visible to customers, but you can, I mean, like edit the advertising, the bookings, the questions and answers, see some photos if you want. You can continue with this process even if you have done it uh, before or not. You can continue making and editing your business profile. And that's it. These are the basic stuff. But this is really useful to let your people, your clients find you on Google. This is really important if you want to grow your business. So this is how to set up your Google business profile. Thanks for watching.